What is going on? I'm making another little video while I'm here. See, there's my spacer still on there. Still got the spacers. I wanted to shout out one of my internet uh, Instagram followers. I wanted to shout out a lot of you guys, but I'm never prepared to shout out. So then I look like a bumbling idiot. So let me open up Instagram. Sharp Cut Lawn Care. Let me see if I can go to his profile. Ta da! Creek Squad, baby. That's my boy. And YouTube, I've got such good buddies that freaking watch me on YouTube, it's disgusting. And I tell them, I appreciate it. I'm more than you know. Because it's cool. I've only got a hundred and some videos, I think. Something like that, or two. Less than anybody I know. But I still got over 9,000 subscribers somehow. I don't even know how that happens. That's crazy to me. So... Let me tell you a flaw in the old skagger, skaggers. You know I love my skaggers. I done made a video pointing out all the bad stuff, but this mower is not two years old yet. It's still under warranty. And I had to take a fan the other day and put this overnight to fix this problem. Don't sell, and Toro done it to me too, so this ain't skag exclusive. Mowers that cost eight and ten thousand dollars and then cheap on the seats. I am sick of this right here. Let me show you. It's funny. I love Skag, but it sounds like I'm always just purposely knocking on them. I can't do this with one hand. Hold on a minute. I'm going to sit you down. God dang it. There we go. One hand just sucks. It's easy with two. <laughs> this is what I'm sick of. Now, mind you, you can buy a good vehicle for this price. Not the best vehicle, but a decent one. Look at this. Look at that. It gets trapped up under this water. Look at that. It has rent this wood. I took a flathead screwdriver and dug out all the rot and cleaned it out. So what happens is, look how nasty it is underneath. So when you're driving down the highway with it on your trailer, guess what? That water is clearly hitting right there. Hitting right there. That part, like I said, that is pretty, not real deep, but that's a couple of inches deep. God dang, I did not say inches. That is the biggest horse face lie. It's probably six, couple, six, an eighth, two eighths, three eighths, I don't know, something like that. Not even a quarter of an inch. That is ridiculous. Look in there. It's just rotting it out. Now you're gonna say it's just a piece of plywood. Yeah, attached to a $10,000 lawnmower. It's just a piece of plywood. I hate when people say, I mean, it's just people that likes a brand, and I love this brand, by the way. But they will not let you criticize or they take up to the death. And I'm like, do they pay you for that kind of stuff? No. You know why I like showing Skag stuff? You know what they do about it? They fix it. Everything I've complained about almost, Skag just about, <clears throat> like the engine's number one, is freaking weak. Mother freaking 23 and a half, ridiculous. They've replaced it. They don't even make, this mower is discontinued on this, this engine. It's the lowest now is a 26 EFI. That is, see what I'm saying? They will change stuff. Because they like a human or anybody else, they're not perfect. I'm not, God dang, I got more flaws than you can count. So I'm not above what I'm saying. But they screwed the pooch. They screwed the pooch bad here. I mean, that isn't, I don't want to have to buy this wood, restretch this and put, measure this and put this back on here perfectly lined up because this should be wrapped all the way around it. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't care if they use some kind of poly plastic, uh, blah, blah, blah. This should not be wood. Why I'm saying that is all mowers do that. That mother freaking Toro right there. Look here. Man, this is embarrassing. I got stuff piled on him. 
this thing, the reason it looks like it does, is because the whole, look, look at the wood. Look at the wood. Look. So the seat just flops and all the things come up. So it looks like a $2 mower now. Yeah. This one was $7,440. That was the price before tax. That was the, what they sell these for back in the day, 2013. NY Raptor bought the same mower back in. He knows I'm not, it is, that's what it is. It's been a great mower, just a few breakdowns like I told you. I've told you everything that's happened, nothing right now. It's just got a bunch of my dirty shoes on it. All I wear is New Balances and New Balances and my favorite boots are Columbia boots, by the way. I wear these things out so fast though, and they're like 80 bucks a piece. Then I, oh, I'm gonna make a review on this. <laughs> Somebody sent me that, the company. There's the box to review it back in the winter, but it's not, I couldn't use it because uh, it's winter. So, I mean, it's just a little cheap thing, a little electric for homeowners, it's got a little battery, it don't matter. But anyway, like I said, I got all my bags here because I've been remodeling rental house, anyway, Everybody fusses about Husqvarna. Listen, look here. I don't want to show this. This is just funny. I don't care. Husqvarna has got their engine right here. And everybody's like, you can't get the dipstick out. You just can't. Well, you don't need to do this, but this is something funny. It's like, oh, but Skag. God dang. What Hercules put that on there? Me. Now watch this. Hmm. At least on the dipstick, you can bend it around. Do you need to take that out? Nah, not really. Do I want to take it out if I want to take it out? Yes. Got plenty of hydro fluid, which is nothing but 20W50. I'm gonna wipe this freaking, everybody thinks you gotta put high, uh, read the owner's manual. It just uses regular freaking 2050. You don't even got to put synthetic in there. I don't know what everybody thinks. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. So see, Skag's not perfect either. They did do this perfect because I never get build up on these fans like I do the Skag. It's very nice. I mean the Toro. So you can get to everything. The char charcoal filter. It's one thing they always say with these that's got charcoal filters. Never fill them to the top. Never. I always keep the fuel off, I don't know why. Gotta have a tank of fuel. But yeah, this this grinds my gears right here, Skag and Toro and all you seat manufacturers. And I'm gonna have to cut this video short. Yes, I am.